Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 4. So in this episode, I am going to be starting the Jack Cabot questline. And seeing where I go from there. Uh, I can't remember what this questline entails exactly, but I'm sure we'll find out. Go away. Oh, well, that was not good, wasn't it? Uh What is this place? This is Cabot House. Like it says on the sign. And if you don't know what that is, you're in the wrong place. Let you me should in. leave before Edward you get Deegan yourself asked me in to trouble. come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. If I remember correctly, this place has the pool table where I can steal all the pool balls from and put on my pool table. Let's go meet the boss. Okay. Sounds good. The only the only problem I've got with this sort of uh, conversation interface is that I don't necessarily know when I need to reply. One moment, one moment. You just have to. He'll be right with us. Oh, damn. Is he dead? I really want those pool balls, but uh, or snooker balls, whatever they are, and the triangle. Hell, the shot class even. But I'm gonna have to wait until no one's looking, which is going to be annoying because this place is pretty full. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here. Boston in its current sad state. Well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I'd like to ask. I'll probably sit the over there. Is this really the time? Don't for interrupt, it? Edward. The question is this Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Uh, yeah. The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet, the very origins of human civilization, ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. You think aliens created human civilization? Oh, this is gonna be good. Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures, Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. Just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any 
questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. Are we good here? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. You all set then? Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. So, yeah. Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going. Alright. Well, as long as I'm getting paid, I don't partic particularly care. Right up until Edward tells me that this is all pro bono work, and I'm like, nope. On second thought. Ah, these loading times are deadly. Hey, where am I going? Up here, is it? Ah. That is quite a, quite a trek. But, uh, not that far from Green Top Nursery, so that's okay. Not that much of a trek, then. Drinking from a water source is always a tactical choice. You will usually restore lost health, but raise your radiation level. I think it says you will usually restore lost health, as in there's a chance that might not happen. Alright, let's get going. Ah, so this drum magazine holds over either holds 31 or over 31 shells. That's impressive. Oh god. Super mutants. The bane of my existence. All right, swim. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. I thought the radiation would be a lot worse. any trouble down on us okay I'll try not to since you asked so nicely all right that's the guy this place is off limits you best move along that's the girl what is this place it's nothing to do with you that's for sure now I told you to get moving Edward said you might know where to start looking for the package that went missing oh you're the new guy. So this package, 
Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Though it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kinda like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like them. I'm glad you're gonna finally get rid of them. Yep. Okay, maybe some more travelling involved. Don't think this is a long one though. Like this this part. I think it's literally just like a small group of raiders. It's not like a massive group. That being said, everything I'm saying now could just be bullshit and I might be walking into like an army. Most of this is just me going off what I remember. So yeah, it might not be spot on. That is, of course, if I can actually get out of this place. I might actually be stuck here. No, this looks promising. Hey! Alright, so... They must be up in this building by here. Or nearby. Yep, they're up in the building. This shouldn't be too bad. Well, that didn't work well. That's not promising for me, considering she shot me in the head twice. That shows some pretty decent level of aiming, like accuracy. Whoa. All right, I've become a bit too reliant on power armor, I think. Do I have to do that travelling all again now? Oh, do I have to travel all that way? Vault Tech! I got that bobblehead. I got it from, um... I think it was like an, like an extra I bought when I went in for the midnight launch of this. Alright, so they've pointed me in the way to the insane asylum maybe yeah I think that I don't know anymore
Hey. Look at that though, Rads, minus 36,000. Strength, 5. Damage resistance, 50. Okay, so I return this to Jack Cabot. Ah, that's an easy quest. Might have time to squeeze another one in there. Because it only took like what, like 10 minutes? <laughs> Maybe? 20? Maybe 20 minutes? I can probably squeeze another one in. Depending on loading times. It might just be the next 10 minutes we'll be watching this Voltec 3D model. Um, Bobblehead 3D model. Pip Boy. Voltec. Is it Pip Boy? Or oh, Voltec Boy? I can't remember. I think it's Voltec Boy. Vault 111. I'm curious as to what those raiders were using, because then again, the leather for some reason, like metal is for physical damage, like bullets, but leather is for energy weapons. That is not acceptable. Imogen is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, mother. So did you find you know out what happened to the courier? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean. is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family? Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. I'm not Whoever their maid space. service is, Jack, I want their number. I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and... Drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? Well, thanks for that, Edward. You were a real help. I think I know where she is. Like, I remember this quest line kind of well. Um, in terms of, like, 
more quests. I can't remember which order they come in, but I kind of remember the quest order. Well, I, I kind of remember what the quests are, just not what order they come in. Ugh. Um, so yeah, I, I know in this one she's hiding at like an amphitheater. I remember that much, but I just can't rem- Oh, please don't attack me. Uh, okay. But, uh, yeah, she's hiding in like, an amphitheater somewhere, but I can't remember where. So let's go to Good Neighbor. No doubt they'll tell me. I think she's gone to, like, to... She's gone to live with some... Like... Type of guys you find in Good Neighbor. The ones who are, like... Dressed in suits and use Tommy guns. Those kind of upstanding people. Yeah, actually, it's Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. Baby. So, what kind of weapons do you? Ah, uh, skip. Now. Skip. Let's see what you have. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Uh, Comfort grip automatic plasma pistol. Compensated armor piercing automatic. Yeah. Plasma pistol though. Uh, I don't want a plasma pistol. I want a plasma rifle. Or a lead pipe. I could do a lot with a lead pipe. Medium speed lead pipe. That's a revolver. That is quite a revolver. Uh, uh, no, not really. No, no. That's a proper looking shotgun. Not like the double barrel sawed off shotgun I got. No, uh, no. Uh, like the, the revolver I got, Kellogg's revolver is pretty much good enough, I think, for me anyway. Uh, leaded, enameled metal chest piece. Uh, yeah, I'll try it out. Devastator. Oh my God! Look at that. Thirteen thousand. Eighteen and a half thousand. Fuck me. How am I supposed to get that much money? Uh, okay, carry on. Nope. Nope. Uh, copper could be an Andy. 1,100, that's not too bad. Now then. Don't need that. Uh, that could be an uh, That could be useful. Fusion cell. Fusion core. 400. Seven. Mm, yeah, okay, I'll spend it. Why not? Do I have anything to sell, is the question. I could probably sell that. That's probably, this is probably why I got a lot of junk. Um, if I sell them the total cost, I could, they can have the toaster as well. You can have the knife, you can have a coffee pot. There you go. Hopefully my charisma skill is high enough, because I remember you have to go and talk to 
a singer, I, I believe, or someone, maybe a ghoul, I can't remember, like, specifically. Oh, there you go. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Okay. I forget just how many ghouls live here. Oh, there he goes, and a normal looking person. And another one. Yeah. And another one. Ah, oh, no, oh my god. Boy, we got beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Yeah, he's got a little bowler hat. Yeah. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Quite a barmy. Seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! <laughs> she stops talking. She stops singing. He's like, Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Excuse me, miss. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, handsome? Don't it tell me. Be great great my job. Song. I've never heard that song before. Who wrote it? I did. Everything I sing is an original. Now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, that's it. You had that, um, I'm the smartest one here and I know it posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? Uh huh. I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. Hey. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Hey, I might be getting somewhere. Music. <laughs> huh. It's tempting, but unfortunately, I'm married to the stage. Huh. Hey, Magnolia. You're looking for me. What can I do for you? Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. Ah well. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones, always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Imogene, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas. Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Hmm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fella. All right, there you go. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. The broad is down the stairs. I like him. He's cool. It's a good guy. Good guy.
Alright, so I got a rough idea now of where to go on the map. There, it's right there. There you go. Um, might be a good idea just to travel along the, like the riverfront from Cabot House. That's the thing, though. I mean, do I have the... Uh, mm, I got pretty far in that conversation with Magnolia, so I think my speech is pretty high. Maybe not as high as it could be. Or as it, you know, should be. But still pretty high. Also, I'm sure there's, like, a f there's, like, there's, there's plenty of settlements I haven't come across yet. Um, but I know there's one in Boston, in the city. It's like in an alleyway. And it's right near a vault, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to have to check that out at some point. Oh. Ah, very good. Alright. Woohoo! Nope. Hey! I don't mean you any harm. Stop shooting at me. I'm just trying to find crazy people. Like other crazy people. Not you, but some other crazy people. Right there. for Imogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Imogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Uh, her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Look, truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to warn you. She's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. I do like I've played most of this playthrough with that gas mask on. Like I don't think my face has been visible for a good like twenty episodes. Which is just the way I like it. A man of mystery. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister. I was expecting someone a bit... younger. How rude. Don't you know to never mention a lady's age? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum 
that reverses aging? It really isn't any of your uh. business. And I know it was Jack who sent you. He's always trying to control me. You don't seem very grateful for being rescued. I'm fine, as you can see. But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Oh, thank God for that. Don't think I would have survived if she went with me. What a bitch. I don't need anything right now, thank you. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. What happened? The guards at Parsons called in that they were under attack. Edward went to help. I've only just been able to raise him, briefly. I didn't get much, but it sounds like the situation there is nearly out of control. I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old, but it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. I think it's time you told me what's really going on at Parsons. You're right. It's past time you knew. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. 
he gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood, so the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranormal, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Exactly what abilities does he have? Uh, enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage, oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell, which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Hold on, weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Um, reward? Do I have a reward? I found her, as requested. Now what about my pay? Oh yes, uh, Edward usually handles these things. You want caps, I suppose? Hmm, let me see what I have. Here, I hope this is close to your usual fee. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Oh, okay. Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have freed Lorenzo. I'm the only one who understands exactly how to deal with him. Is that clear enough for you? Yes, that's pretty clear. So, got it. Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Oh, what do you want? They have kept this house relatively intact. Surprising. You know, considering the whole nuclear war and all that. Anyway, I'm going to bring this episode to an end. Pretty much done everything I wanted to do. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you've enjoyed the commentary. If you could leave a like, hit that comment section below and hit that subscribe button. One, two or maybe all three. Either way, it helps a lot and I'd be very much I'd be very much appreciated and I'd be very grateful for the help and the support. For now though, that's pretty much it. So until the next episode, you take care of yourself.